Hi, and welcome back to Tang Online. As promised, we'll be continuing our analysis of the rhythmical structure of tango. So, in our previous video, we said that each song is divided into small measures of time. Each measure of time, we call it a bar, a bar of music or a compass de tango. Now, each bar of music is divided into four beats. So, we have two strong beats and two weak beats. So, if we, mathematically speaking, instead of dividing this measure of time by four, I can actually divide it by eight. So, if I put these yellow guys here in the middle, now instead of having one, two, three, four, what we have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what we always try to teach our students for a better understanding and a better use of the music when you are dancing, when they are dancing tango, and hopefully this can be of use for you too, is that the best way to, to, to control the music is to learn how to connect the two strong beats of each bar of music. How many possibilities do we have to connect these two beats? So, let's take all of this out and let's see one by one which are our possibilities. So, the first is going straight from one to the other, like when we are walk, walking to a normal speed. Strong, 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 strong. So, one, five, if we consider the eight division. So, on the previous class, we also said that if we use the weak beat in the middle of these two, we have the strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong. So, one, three, five, one, three, five. Now, what we can do, now that we know that we can divide it like this, I can take these two out and find the third possibility to connect these two strong beats, which is a syncopated uh, sound or a syncopated use of the, of the bar of music. Why? Because these two guys are really close together and these and this one are a bit apart, are a bit further away than these two. So now what we listen to, what we will, would listen to is one, two, five, one, two, five. Now what I can do is take this one out also and I put this one in and I find a fourth possibility which is one, four, five, one, four, five. So, so far we have one, five, first possibility, one, three, five, second possibility, one, two, five, third possibility, and one, four, five, fourth possibility. Now we can start combining these possibilities and find different, different ones. So a fifth possibility would be one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. A sixth possibility would be one, three, four, five, one, three, four, five. Another one, seven, would be this. One, two, four, five, one, two, four, five. And finally, an eighth possibility, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So now let's try to apply this to one music. I will try to show you where you can fit all of these possibilities in the music. So, for example, here we are.
see you next time guys next time we'll probably be learning how to use these two guys enjoy our tango see you next time